everybody. Hope everybody's having a great day, evening, morning, whatever you're listening to this. Um, as some of you know, I mean, if you follow um, Alex Flores and and the dealership of, of Capital Chevrolet, he is actually stepping into a different role um, and leaving Capital Chevrolet and more than, more than, more than happy for him. Um, you know, he brought me on board in August, been able to work with him and we'll continue to work with him in a different capacity, so to speak. Um, but I got to work with him for about seven months and you know, had a great time. You know, learned a lot from him uh, during that time. And um, I'm extremely, extremely happy for him as he moves forward. Um, and this is more of a, you know, in my opinion, this I'll give my opinion. Maybe that's a disclaimer, but leaders lead when times get tough, when the uncertainty happens um, and, and, and you don't know what's going to happen uh, in the future. Um, true leaders step up and show why they call themselves a leader. Um, in a m- amongst all this chaos, a lot of times um, everybody's like, what the hell is going to happen? Are we going to go backwards? And the reality is, is we're not. We built a monster. He built a monster. Um, and and if we go backwards, it is to ultimately, um, why did he why did he build this in five years? You know, be, to become the number one dealership in the state of Texas, to become number two in the country um, in volume and Chevy sales. Um, if we go backwards, why did he, why did he build this? And, and it doesn't do us any good. And so it's one of those things for me as a leader. Um, it's my job to obviously tell the troops, everything's going to be okay and step up and lead, you know, cause a lot of times we, with all the chaos that happens, everyone starts freaking out. Like everything is going to, the sky is falling and you have to make sure your team understands this guy is not falling. You know, Alex created a culture. Alex created a lot of different things at Capital Chevy that um, will keep going. Um, It's not going to just end and we become, you know, what used to be. This is that that that's a a slap in his face if we did that. And so it's one of those things where true leaders lead when times get tough, when times are uncertain. Obviously, 2020 was an crazy year for everyone. Um, and I don't care if you're in the automotive space or not, it was a crazy year for everyone. And true leaders stepped up during that time. True leaders um, made sure their teams were taken care of um, and, and held them accountable and then put things forth that ultimately made us successful during that time. Um, and this is no different than that. You know, he's, he is leaving. Um, and so it, it creates, um, a lot of uncertainty in a lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people are, are, are kind of stressed out a little bit about this. Um, you know, it's one of those things where I'm, I'm not, um, this is my time to step up as a leader. Um, and make sure my team's taken care of and make sure everybody is taken care of and that we push forward, um, for the success of the dealership and for the success for ourselves. You know, a lot of times it's one of those things where this person is going to go with and this person is going to leave. And that's that's just the nature of the beast. Um, I get that. But the reality is, is that we still have to move forward. You know, it took a, you know, it's a blow to the stomach. You, you feel like, oh, my God, what's going to happen? And then you put your your big boy or big girl pants on and it's time to get back to work. Um, true leaders will lead during tough times. Um, and this is going to be one of those things where it sheds a lot of light on some different things. But the reality is, is that it's time to step up. This is your opportunity now. Like you've, you've been taught by one of the best in, in, in the business. This is your time to shine and show what he's taught you, what you've learned over the course of the time that you've worked with him or the times that, that you've grown through this process. This is your time to step up as a leader. And I think a lot of times with leaders, and I don't even know if they're leaders. I don't know if that's the right word for it. Maybe they're managers um, is they get completely like freaked out about moments where it's time to step up and they start to crumble. It's very easy to go. All right. This person's leaving. 
now what? And almost be paralyzed by the fact that things are going to change. Change is going to happen, guys. Change is something that's inevitable. People come, people go. Um, they, they move up. They get different opportunities. That's when your opportunity is like the same thing happened for them. Someone left, someone fucked up, someone got promoted, and now they're in that position. This is your opportunity to show that you are a leader. Not be paralyzed by the fact that things are going to change. Shit's going to change regardless. Um, that's just, that's life. Life is, uh, you know, we're always going to have some sort of change um, in our life. And so your job is to to step up to what has been given to you. This is the opportunity. Like, I don't see it as a negative, you know, I, I, I wish you know, Alex, the best. I hope that, it, you know, he's going to be successful wherever he goes. He's going to still be a part of capital in a different way, but he's still being a part of it. It's not like it's, it's over. It's done. It's, it's, he's gone. That's not the case. Um, and so, yeah, it's, it's, a um, it's a difficult thing. You know, it, it's, it's understandable that people freak out, but this is the time where leaders lead. The times are get they get tough. Like you have to start making decisions that you weren't used to, but you're prepared for. Um, this is the time where you this is what you've been working for for so many years to get this opportunity to step up, to be the leader. This is the moment. And maybe I'm preaching to myself, maybe I'm preaching to a lot of different people, because we've all been in these situations. We've all had difficult things that have have come across our, our desk that, that people leave, transitioning, lots of uncertainty, 2020 uncertainty times. Um, 2021's been, been kind of the same. And so this is your chance. This is your time. This is your opportunity. This is what you've worked for. This is your moment that you step up and you, you take, take the opportunity that's uh, in front of you. Because being paralyzed is what causes all the chaos, what causes the turnover, what causes the, the reasons for you to not be working for a company. That's 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 what it is. You get paralyzed, you get, well, everything's going to fall apart, and you fall apart. And so for myself and for other people, I just have to say, it's time to lead. It's time to hold yourself accountable. It's time to hold your, your team accountable. Everything that, that, you know, and I'm not just saying like Alex taught us everything that we all know. Um, different experiences have done this. And it's not, you know, the success of that dealership is not just on one person. And so now's the time for us to lead. Now's the time for you to lead. If you've been sitting back in 2020 and now it's 2021, you're like, maybe it's time. Yeah, man, it's been time. It doesn't matter if you if you have the title as manager or title as a leader or it, like you can lead without being a manager. Like your team, your people around you are looking for leaders. You can take the time to grow your friends, your 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 people around you, your coworkers, you can help those people. Because at the end of the day, when when anybody's looking for a promotion or anything like that, they look for the people who lead without actually being the leader, so to speak. And so here's your opportunity. I've had multiple conversations with a lot of different people that I feel um, uh, need to understand this is an opportunity and not to freak out. I've had meetings with my team um, and, you know, it's, it's my time to, to step up in a different role. It's my time to step up and, and make sure that what I've been taught and, and the accountability that Alex has taught me over the seven months. And I've known Alex for four years. Um, those things that he's taught me, I need to make sure that I put them in place. I need to make sure that everybody doesn't freak out. I need to make sure that my team and everybody knows that everything's going to be okay. Yes, there's going to be there's going to be some change, and yes, there's going to be some turnover. 
And yes, there's going to be some things that may not dis- may not agree with, but it's our job to hold our team accountable. Don't let them be paralyzed with the fact that things are changing and move forward. It is our job to make sure that that dealership and our careers and everything that we do pushes forward to make him happy, to make, you know, he's moving forward, but to make him happy with the see this dealership continue the success that it's seen and even better success taking it to another level. He's taught the people a lot of different things and, and accountability is a huge thing for, for Alex. And, you know, he's taught me a lot and he's, he, we've had a lot of conversations and we'll continue to have conversations. But now's the time to step up and hold yourself accountable, hold your team accountable and be a leader. And it doesn't matter if you listen to this and you're not part of capital and, and you're at a dealership that goes through different changes because we all do. It's your time to be a leader and hold yourself and your team accountable. It's a very easy, it's not easy. I would say it's not easy. There's going to be some things and mistakes and different things that you're going to do that you wish you didn't do and wish you could have done. And we've all had those. Like we're going to make mistakes. If you're not, if you're not, I tell people, if you're not trying hard enough, you're not trying hard enough, not make a mistake. But you have to learn from those mistakes and keep pushing forward. Lead during times where it's uncertain. Lead when it's tough. Lead when it's great. Lead when things are going amazing and when things are going to shit. That's when true leadership steps up. That's when true leadership pushes forward and makes sure that the, the team, the troops, are in line and ready to rock and roll. When they pour into their team during uncertain times, and then when certain times are happening, when the fun times are happening, when it's great and champagne bottles and we're selling tons of cars, that's when true leadership shows up, regardless, good, bad, the ugly. That's when true leadership is always, 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 always going to shine. And so my question for you is, are you going to step up and lead during this time? It doesn't matter if you, you know, this is it's kind of one of those things where it doesn't matter if you work for capital, if you work for any dealership or you work for any company in the U.S. or beyond U.S. Are you going to lead during this time? Because the reality is, is we need more leaders. We need more People holding their teams accountable, holding themselves accountable, pushing forward and not just thinking about themselves. True leadership, where you're taking care of everyone around you, you're taking care of your team. Obviously, you take care of yourself. Like I'm not, I get up early in the morning to take care of a lot of different things before I ever start my day at work. But are you going to be the true leader that's going to step up during this time to show that your your company, to show that you're the leader they need? Are you willing to do that? Are you willing to do whatever it takes? You know, a lot of people say, I want to do what they do. And this is a John Maxwell thing. But are you willing to do what I did? Are you willing to work the hours, the 60 plus the tireless nights, the getting up early, the staying late, the grinding until you want to cry, the tireless hours where you just can't even think straight. You know, a lot of people want to do what Alex does, what I do sometimes. I mean, I don't pat myself on the back by any means. I want to do what I do, but are you willing to do what I did? Because to get to the place where I am, to get to the place where Alex is, to Lundy, Glenn Lundy, Josh Cummins, those people, are you willing to do what they did? Because let me tell you, it takes a lot of grind and effort and hustle and setbacks and move forwards and three steps back to get where we are. And I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. I make mistakes. 
I have my shortcomings. I have my blind spots. I have my good things, my bad things. But I'm willing to lead no matter what. No matter if it feels good, feels bad. No matter if it's tiring, if it's difficult. If I just simply just don't want to, that's when I have to. Because I get to. You know, Jimmy O is at our dealership, and I, I had this nice meeting about have tos and get tos. We have a lot of things that we say we have to do, but we actually get to. I get to lead an amazing team. I get to lead my family. I get to do a lot of things. I get to get up at 3 a.m. I know I'm crazy. I get to, you know, I made a joke. I said, I get to drive to work in a Porsche. I do. It's amazing. It was my dream car. There's a lot of things that I get to do. I get to lead an amazing team. I get to push my team forward. I get to go to work every single day and lead. So my question for everyone, are you willing to do the work? Are you willing to lead your team and lead during difficult times, during great times, different, during different uncertain times? Are you willing to lead? Because today, we need more leaders.